Are you wondering how to handle your estranged adult child? And are you hoping to reconcile? Well, in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to handle your estranged adult child and four keys you should know if you're hoping to reconcile. Hi, I'm Marie Morin. I'm a therapist and a wellness coach. Let's get started. So the first key is to examine your expectations. Estrangement is a horrific condition for adult children and for the estranged parent. The thing is, is that estrangement can last a long time. The average length of estrangement is four and a half years. So we don't really know. And in this uncertainty is a degree of confoundedness, overwhelm, especially if this is a new thing for you. You're having a lot of grief. You can have symptoms such as shock anxiety, sadness, denial, anger, guilt, all of these things can be participating in what's going on for you right now. So you need to be examining and assessing your expectations. Do I want this over really quick because I have a lot of anxiety, I have a lot of strong emotions about not seeing my adult child. So in assessing these expectations, you recognize that it's going to take a while. This isn't going to be over quickly. There's nothing you can do to make it happen faster. However, you could be doing things that can prolong it. So within your expectations, you need to be processing your grief. What does this mean? This means you have to let yourself feel whatever it is you're feeling, journal, talk to a professional. You want to watch my video 10 about the stages of grief in family estrangement. I take a deeper dive and you'll learn a lot more about grief in that video. The second thing that you should do is to get support. So this condition of being estranged and having all of these feelings and wondering when will I see my child again? When will this get better? Grieving for an estranged adult child isn't like grieving for someone that's passed because your child has made the decision to leave. And so there's extra complicated feelings going on for you. When we're grieving and when we're having all these feelings, sometimes we can be dysregulated. We're not ourselves and we could say or do things that can actually harm our situation. So getting support, someone that really knows about estrangement, a family therapist, someone that could be in your corner to come alongside of you and guide you so that you could be doing things to process your grief as well as attending to some of the issues that have to do with the estrangement with your adult child. So the third thing that you should do is assess your relationship with your adult child as objectively as you can. So let's face it, your adult child did not just disconnect quickly without any consideration. There might have been a volcanic or an eruption that occurred, but this has been a long time in the making for them. They didn't do this lightly. They've been thinking about this. So they have likely been telling you things over the years that have been bothering them. Whatever they have said are clues for you. This is how you assess it. Because part of getting back into relationship with your adult child is recognizing that perhaps when they tried to talk to you, you were defensive. Maybe you denied what they said and you invalidated them. Maybe, and it's likely that when they tried to tell you rather than you validating them, you might have said, no, that's not true. And so these are the types of things when adult children are deciding to leave a relationship that are very, very indicative of the hurt that they feel when they're not heard and respected, when they aren't 
validated. They don't think you're really listening to them. So assessing your relationship as objectively as possible. If you're getting support and you're doing this, you're not going to be going down the road of beating yourself up for what you did. This is not to do that. This is to just be recognizing it and taking responsibility so that you can move forward. So the fourth thing that you want to do is to work on your communication skills. So we're all guilty of it, being defensive, being in denial about things that perhaps we've done, or maybe our adult child has this perception. And rather than us hearing their perspective, we take time to say, no, that's not what we did because we don't like what we've heard. So communication skills is learning not only how to say things, but also how to listen. Listening is extremely important. It doesn't always mean that we 100% agree with what they've said. However, sincere and genuine validating comes from a place of where you truly want to hear them and that you're willing to hear what their version of the story is. You're willing to hear what their perceptions are and respect them through it. Learning communication skills is very valuable, particularly if you're hoping at some point to reconcile. When adult children have been raised in a toxic or poor parenting where there's been a lot of conflict, there's been some criticism, there's been a generosity of honesty, they're looking for their parents to change. One of the ways that they can see that you change is if you know how to listen. So reconciling is about making amends. Successful reconcilers were able to put to rest the other person having to accept their version of what happened. This is how it goes with family estrangement. When it's with an adult child, however, the adult child wants the parent to recognize that they were harmed in some way. And so that version that they're trying to tell you is not something you need to agree with. However, your accepting it is part of how things will get to a place of reconciliation. Successful reconcilers were able to not expect the other one to say you're right about this. Now, adult children might expect that, but for the parent, they're not going to expect that. So they're not going to come back with, well, you did X, Y, Z, and expect your adult child to now chime in and say, oh, yes, I'm responsible for them. So this is more about what the parent can do in relationship with the adult child. It is extremely important when considering reconciliation. When your adult child is ready, it's a good idea to have a trained professional guide you and sit with you and your adult child to help unravel what created the rift, what some of the things that participated in them were about, and how they impacted your adult child. I hope this video has been a help to you. Please get my ebook, Feeling Heartbroken and Alone, How to Pick Up the Pieces When You're Estranged. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Hit the like, subscribe, and ring the bell. See you in the next video.